Hello guys, this is Becca and I'm here with Miss Maggie Mae and we are here to do Toddler Tuesday and Toddler Tuesday is hosted by uh, uh, Sam over at uh, Reborn Love Babies, and also her sister Renee over at Renee's Reborns. I will have their uh, links in the title of this video. And this is my little Maggie Mae. Her so sweet. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Now I'm going to have to piece the video together. <laughs> Hubby called, and I knew, you know, what he was doing this morning that I needed to answer it. I didn't need to wait. But I have my water here. I have some lemon water. I have my questions, which I haven't had a chance to tell you about that. I've got my Kleenex in case I need it. If y'all uh, watched my video yesterday, um, then you know that I've hubby and I have been sick. Well, he got sick a couple of days before I did. He's feeling a lot better and is able to get out and go take care of business and stuff. Uh, I'm still... He told me if it, if I do the same as he did, he, he told me today was probably my peak day where I'd be my worst and then start getting better. I am feeling a little better than I was. Well, I say, no, nah, I guess I'm feeling about the same right now as I was uh, yesterday. Except for I have a, a a headache and I didn't have a headache yesterday. Or if I did, it was just a slight one. I can't even remember if I had a headache yesterday or not. <laughs> Guys, I just, my days are kind of just running into each other. But anyway, uh, I'm here to do Toddler Tuesday. And I brought Miss Maggie Mae on with me. She is one of my newest toddlers. I think she is my newest toddler. Um... Because the last two babies I got were toddlers. Uh, please forgive Macy. Well, not really. I mean, it's nothing to forgive. <laughs> she's got her ball, and she's going to want Mama to throw it for her. But anyway, she'll be up here messing around, so y'all get to see Macy's head as I pitch the ball for her. I open the door every morning and throw it several times out the door so she can get a good run in. And we do that quite often so she can get some exercise because I'm not getting out in this cold walking. And she'll run, go get it, bring it back to me for me to throw it again. So that's the way she's been getting her exercise. So anyway, like I said, I have Miss Maggie May. And uh, she is... You know, I'm calling her Maggie Mae for fun. I don't even remember what I named her middle name. I'm just saying Maggie Mae for the fun of it. But she is Maggie. But I don't remember for sure if I put her middle name as Mae. So I'm just being silly this morning. And, and it may that may be what I named her. I'll have to go back and look. Like I said, she's one of my newest toddlers. And I've only I think I've only showed her when I got her. I don't think, or when, maybe when I put this Christmas outfit on her. Maybe I showed her a couple of times. I can't remember. But she's fairly new, so her name just hasn't really stuck in my... Her first name has, but her middle name hasn't. So I might have to go back and look. And I, like I said, I may have named her Maggie Mae. That may be why I've got that in my mind. But anyway, we have her here. Because uh, this week was uh, Sam's time to um, do the theme. Sam and Renee are sisters, and they take turns uh, doing the theme 
for each uh, Toddler Tuesday. I wonder what Macy's barking at. Uh, I got the front door open. There, it, the yard is fenced in. The front yard is fenced in, so she's out there barking at something. But uh, anyway, um, I'm getting sidetracked, guys. You'll just have to bear with me today. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, Renee, it, no, it was Sam's turn. <laughs> it was Sam's turn today. And what she chose for us to do was to bring one of our babies on dressed in Christmas attire. Something simple. Didn't have to be major. So, um, Miss Maggie here already had on her little Mickey Mouse Christmas pajamas or Minnie Mouse, I guess you would say. Christmas pajamas. So, I said, well, I'm just, I'm not going to worry with changing her right now since I'm feeling bad. And I'll just bring her on because she has on her Christmas jammies. And so that's what uh, Sam said was something simple. So she has on something simple. And um, also, Sam did a tag um, for us to answer. It's a um, would you rather. I, I think it's what she called it. Would you rather. Okay, so... There, uh, there's 11, I think I named, I think I did it right. I think there's 11 questions, if I'm not mistaken. I wrote them down, uh, because she didn't have them in the description. So I, I had to listen to it and write it down. Uh, but I'm thinking, I hope I didn't miss something, but I'm thinking it's 11 questions. So, uh, we're going to get started with uh, answering the tag, and you can look at pretty Maggie and Macy. Both hand, both my hands is full now, and Macy's wanting me to throw her ball. Let me throw it one more time, guys. Yeah, I spoil her. I spoil her rotten. Okay, so the first question is, would you rather sing Jingle Bells... Sorry, guys. I'm facing this sneeze. That's why I brought my Kleenex. My head is still all stopped up. Like I said, I have a headache. Would you rather sing Jingle Bells every time you walked into a room or wear a Santa suit to work every day? <laughs> well, I don't work i'm a i'm an old decrepit woman <laughs> actually i have a wonderful husband and not that we've had bukus of money because we haven't we've had some pretty rough times financially at times but my husband's always wanted me uh when we our children was home he wanted me to be a stay-at-home mom and now that i'm older and not able He's never re required me to work, and we've always just tried to learn to live on the means that he can provide for us, and uh, is one reason I'm having to stop buying so many dolls, <laughs> because he's went on semi-retirement, <laughs> and uh, we don't have the money that, you know, not that we have bukus, but we don't have as much money as we used to have. So, I'm having to be careful of what I purchase <laughs> and all that to answer this one question. <laughs> this may be a long video. Sit back and relax. Pause it. Go get you a glass of tea or Coke or whatever and hot cocoa. Sit back and relax. Uh, I can't seem to do short videos when I, when I get on here FaceTime. FaceTime. Face video. I can't seem to do short ones. But anyway, would you rather sing Jingle Bells every time you walked into the room, into a room, or wear a Santa outfit every day to work? Well, like I said, I'm at home, so either way. But I would rather sing Jingle Bells every time I walked into a room because I get hot easy. I have hot flashes bad, and I don't think I'd want to wear a Santa outfit every day. Okay, number two. Would you rather have Frosty the Snowman or Rudolph as a friend? Well, 
I think I would rather have Rudolph. Number one, he would match me because I have a red nose today <laughs> from sneezing and blowing my nose. But no, I love animals. I love animals. And uh, I would have to try, if I had Frosty as a friend, I'd have to try to find some way to keep him frozen because, you know, we've had some pretty cold days uh, the past few days, and he would have been fine these past few days. But by Thursday, we're supposed to have um, spring weather again. It's supposed to be up in the 70s again. And so I would have a hard time keeping him frozen. But I love animals, so I would say I would rather have Rudolph as a friend. Number three, would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polar Express? I'm going to give two answers. In my younger days, I would have said I would rather ride on the Polar Express um, because I, you know, wouldn't mind going somewhere and doing something. Now that I'm older in the condition I'm in now, I would say I would rather live in a giant gingerbread house. Um, but uh, I would have to be careful not to eat it or eat all the decorations off of it. <laughs> uh, so that's my answer for that. Number four, would you rather have a red nose that glows like Rudolph or a point? pointy ears like an elf. Well, I have a red nose. It don't really glow, but I have a red nose right now. But I, I guess I would rather the pointy ears because I could let my hair down and cover my ears so the points wouldn't show. So I think I would rather have the pointy ears. Number five, would you rather see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? I would rather see the Nutcracker. I would rather be able to just sit back and relax with some snacks and watch it, not be dancing. I can't dance. And uh, wouldn't I look cute up there dancing? <laughs> this old fat old woman. <laughs> okay, number six. Would you rather get many small presents for Christmas or just one large present? Well, I'm going to have to say this would be, it's according. It's according to what it would be. If that one large present was a big box of many, many, I'm talking about a lot of uh, reborn dolls, <laughs> I know, that don't count because that's a lot in one box. <laughs> that don't count. Uh, seriously, I think I would rather a, a mini, a lot of small uh, gifts because it's so fun to open gifts and see what you got. So I would say I would like um, to have a lot of small gifts rather than big one, one big large one. Uh, okay, number seven, would you rather eat cereal with eggnog as the milk or a candy cane sandwich? This is going to be hard for me, guys. I don't know. The thought of eggnog in my cereal, I love eggnog. I love to drink eggnog, and matter of fact, I hadn't had any this, this year. I usually get me a little thing. Of eggnog every Christmas and I haven't gotten any this year uh, because I haven't been out shopping and I hadn't thought to t ask hubby to pick up some but I love to drink eggnog but to think about it in my cereal I don't know and then I have ate I have actually ate a chocolate sandwich which, you know, I'm not talking about Nutella. I'm talking about an actual, where it was Hershey's chocolate pieces on, I mean, not, re, like, not like the round circle pieces, but a Hershey's bar on bread. I've actually ate that 
and it was pretty good. Now the bread wasn't toasted to be like a having a, a you know a piece of toast with Nutella on it. No, it was a, a, just plain light bread with a Hershey's chocolate bar on it, and I ate that because one time we had a at church we had a a, a ladies meeting and I asked them to bring odd sandwiches things that you don't normally eat well this I told them you know to make sure it was something we could eat you know that it was actually edible <laughs> but to uh, you know odd sandwiches that we don't normally would normally eat as a sandwich and this one lady knows I, I mean well, everybody knows I love chocolate so she made a chocolate sandwich she actually got two pieces of bread put a Hershey's bar on there to fit the sandwich and made a sandwich, and I ate it, and it was pretty good. So, I'm thinking maybe a candy cane sandwich would, wouldn't be so bad. But, for the sake of the question, I'm going to say I would like to try just to see how it tastes with the eggnog and the cereal. So, I'm going to save the eggnog and the cereal. Okay, so that was seven. Let's do number eight. Would you rather have tree tinsel hair or fingernails that light up like Christmas lights? I think I would rather have fingernails that light up like Christmas lights. Okay, number nine. Would you rather have a job wrapping presents at the mall or taking pictures of Santa with the children at the mall? I hate wrapping gifts. Unless I could just throw them in a bag and put some tissue in the top. I hate wrapping gifts. So, uh, I'm going to say taking pictures of Santa at the mall. Number 10. Would you rather socks for Christmas or a dictionary? Definitely socks. Um, I can Google anything I want to know. <laughs> I don't need a a book dictionary um, socks definitely art 11 would you rather be one of Sanda's elves or reindeer I would love to be one of Sanda's elves that would be so much fun being around Santa and his elves and making toys and being able to play with the toys I'd love to be the one to check them out make sure they work right I wouldn't want to be the I wouldn't want to be the elf making the toys. I'd want to be the elf that checks it out and makes sure everything's working right. I'd like to play with all the toys. So, I would rather be Santa's elf. All right, guys, that is it for the tag. Thank you so much, Sam, for this wonderful tag. Um, I enjoyed answering these questions. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed hearing my answers. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my sweet little Maggie. And I'm going to check on her name. Make sure uh, what I named her middle name. It may be Maggie May. I can't remember for sure. But anyway, hush my sweet baby. Hush my sweet baby. Okay, guys, like I said before, I'm going to quit telling the kits and where they came from simply because that's not what my channel is about uh, my channel is about reborns and, and lifelike dolls like Ashton Drake and Paradise Galleries and Amazon um, actually I think this one I got from Timu uh, Timu however you say that um, but I'm not I'm not an artist, I'm not a, uh, you know, I just love dolls, I have Cabbage Patch dolls, I have all kind of dolls, um, so I'm just going to do my videos and uh, tell you their names and tell you what I'm doing for my video and, and stuff like that, but as far as telling the kids, I don't, I really don't think I want to do that anymore, um, if there's a doll I have that you would like to know the kit, you know, or know where I got it from. Um, feel free to comment 
in the comments, and I'll be glad to tell you in the comments. But as far as me telling telling it every time that I um, bring up a doll, you know, every video telling you what kid it is and all that, um, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. I may forget because I've been doing it for a while. When I first started my channel, I didn't do that. And uh, then I heard everybody else doing it, and so I decided to start doing it. But it, it's just, it takes up time, and to me, that's not the important part of my video. Um, I just, I love my babies, and I love doing the the themes and the tags and, and sharing my babies with you. And, and so, you know, it's not about what kid it is and where it came from. But like I said, I will be glad to let you know what a, a kit is if you want to know. Uh, all you have to do is comment in the comments under the video and, and ask. And I'll be glad to tell you. Another reason, I, you know, I tell you it takes up time. Well, see, I don't have all of my dolls wrote down in a book. And it's hard for me to remember every detail about every doll, like where every, what kid everyone is, uh, the, where I, um, you know, who I adopted it from, and I, I can't remember, I have, guys, I have 80-something dolls, reborn-type dolls, that's not including my display dolls, my monkey dolls, my, um, cabbage patch, that's not including all them, that's just my reborn type dolls um and to keep all that in mind i can't and i don't have it all wrote down so every time and i forget sometimes to go look it up and see if i have it wrote in my book if i don't have it wrote in my book uh writing it down and bringing it in here so i and sometimes i forget to do that so like i said i'm i'm gonna you know i may forget at times because i've been doing it for a while but I'm going to do my best to just, uh, you know, just do my videos and not tell my kids and, and uh, you know, the artist and or their sculptor and their artist and who I adopted them from and all that. Um, because that's not what my channel is about. My channel is about having fun with my babies, whatever kind of baby they are, whether it's Cabbage Patch, whether it's reborn whatever it is um matter of fact i may start doing uh picking a day and doing um doing josie's at josie's jungle room doing her tag once a week or if i don't do it once a week i may do it once a month i'm just i've got to see on that but i'm thinking about maybe um doing a day of uh show I, I forget just how it goes i'll have to look it up hashtag show your cabbage patch i think is the way it is uh i you know when i do one it the right hashtag will be in the title but i'm thinking about doing that too because guys i have so many babies and so many different kind and i want to share them all with you so i'm really thinking about doing you know a show your cabbage patch Quite often, um, like I said, if it's not every week, maybe I can get it um, every couple of weeks or every once a month or something like that. Uh, because I want to share all my babies with you. And like I said, it's not about whether it's a reborn, who the sculptor is, who the the reborn artist is. That's not what my channel's about. My channel's about having fun, sharing my babies with you. So, but I, like I said, I will tell you if you want to know, just comment in, in the um, comments under whatever video and ask, and I'll be glad to tell you. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you've enjoyed my Toddler Tuesday video with Miss Maggie. I hope you enjoyed the answers to my tag. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And if I'm feeling like it later on, I may be do another hashtag um but we'll see okay we'll see so just stay tuned 
talk with you all later. Have a great day. Bye.